Do you ever feel like you have no control over your life, emotions, or things you say? A really common struggle for ADHDers is impulsivity. That means interrupting people, saying things you immediately regret, having chaotic spending habits, or struggling with bad habits and addictions. Without treatment, impulsivity can lead to negative consequences, like losing a job, getting expelled from school, or breaking up. Because it's impulsive, it doesn't feel like a choice was made, but nobody else knows that. ADHD brains don't automatically pause before acting, so you have to learn how. The first step is becoming familiar with how your brain works. The more you understand it, the more you can regain control and turn impulsive acts into thoughtful decisions. Best of all, this approach helps other symptoms, like emotion regulation. Learn what your brain does differently and you can learn how to do the things your brain wasn't wired for, while keeping the strengths ADHD gives you. Understanding ADHD Impulsivity Impulsivity is a key symptom of Attention Deficit Hyperactive Disorder, which impairs the brain's ability to plan, make decisions, and control our actions. ADHD impulsivity is an inability to inhibit one's impulses. This means having trouble stopping yourself from acting on all urges and thoughts. Without meaning to, people with ADHD impulsivity sometimes put themselves into risky situations or overindulge wreaking havoc in their relationships, finances, and even jeopardizing their safety, according to expert Dr. Russell A. Barkley. But it's not about lacking willpower or being careless. It's how their brain is wired. How does impulsivity affect daily life? Having ADHD impulsivity is like having a car with a super sensitive gas pedal and weak brakes. Even if you want to stop or slow down, it's hard to do it in time. Without treatment, Impulsivity can lead to negative consequences and impacts on multiple aspects of your life, such as social skills. You're prone to interrupting or talking over people during conversations, which can easily annoy others. Relationships. Acting or speaking without thinking can lead you to hurt the feelings of friends and family members or get you in trouble with colleagues. School or work. You turn in assignments without double checking or start tasks without planning. You're also prone to missing deadlines or not finishing projects. Finances People with ADHD impulsivity have difficulty saving money and are prone to overspending and impulse buying, which can lead to debt. Safety and well-being Taking risks without thinking can endanger your physical and emotional health, such as speeding, binge drinking, trying drugs, or quitting your job without a backup plan. How to regain control Expert strategies and techniques the good news is that there are ways to manage ADHD impulsivity. There are some expert-backed strategies to help you regain control and improve your daily life. Number 1. Read up on ADHD The first step is becoming familiar with how your brain works. The more you understand it, the more you can regain control and turn impulsive acts into thoughtful decisions. Learn what your brain does differently and you can learn how to do the things your brain wasn't wired for while keeping the strengths ADHD gives you. Number 2. Spot and remove triggers. Where and when do you usually lose control? What are some common factors every time you become impulsive? For example, if you impulsively eat, know where it happens at home, work, or a restaurant. What happens before you start eating? Does someone offer you food, or do you tend to binge eat when you're bored, lonely, or stressed? Knowing this can help you make a plan to avoid or remove such triggers. Number three, create obstacles. Once you're aware of your triggers, the next step is to create obstacles for yourself, making it harder for you to act impulsively. Say for instance, you've been binge shopping a lot lately. Next time you go out, leave your credit card or checkbook at home. Take just the right amount of cash and then lock away the rest somewhere out of sight. You can even give the key to a trusted friend as an extra precaution. Number 4. Take a pause. Since it's hard for people with ADHD to slow down, finding alternative activities to fill the gap between impulse and action can be helpful. For example, if you're worried about saying the wrong thing at a meeting, psychologist Dr. Perlman recommends bringing a notepad. So instead of blurting out your comments, jot them down as soon as they come to you. You could also take a short walk to clear your mind before making a decision, or count to 10 before you do something. No matter what, these small pauses can make a big difference in how you respond to situations. Number 5. Manage your emotions. Strong emotions make it harder to control impulses. So, managing your feelings can help with ADHD impulsivity. Try self-care activities to improve your mood and mindfulness techniques to reduce stress. Find a strategy that works for you. Whether it's guided imagery, 
a walking meditation, or breathing exercises, and do it often. Number six, stick to a routine. A routine provides structure and predictability, which can help you stay focused and organized. By establishing regular habits for tasks like waking up, mealtimes, and work schedules, you'll reduce the likelihood of impulsive behaviors. Routines also minimize distractions and create a sense of stability, which can be comforting and reassuring. Number seven, seek support. Remember, you don't have to manage ADHD impulsivity alone. Support from family, friends, teachers, or colleagues can make a big difference. Have you talked to those around you about your challenges? Sometimes just having someone who understands can be incredibly helpful. You can also reach out to a specialist or talk to a professional. Support groups or therapy sessions can also be beneficial for sharing experiences and learning coping strategies from others facing similar challenges. ADHD impulsivity can feel overwhelming, but with the right strategies and support, you can regain control and lead a fulfilling life. So, what steps will you take today to start managing your impulsivity? If you found this video valuable, please like and share to support our work and spread awareness. And subscribe to our channel for more mental health content. We also have videos on 5 ways undiagnosed ADHD negatively affects you, and 5 signs it's your ADHD, not laziness. Thanks for watching.